All right, so now we want to set up the main controller for all the fingers here. And so let's just take a null axis and control, click, drag, and, and just drag it up since this is already located in the center of the middle finger here. We can just uh, use the scale tool and bring that up a little, a little bit there and maybe change the color to something a little bit different just so we can distinguish it there we go so all we want to do is add the value of this guy to the values of this guy and all the other fingers when we copy them so if you would think we would need to go an espresso here and add another addition you're right that's simple enough that's all we that's what we need to do so click drag control and then release so what we're going to do here is also bring in the controller uh, let's name it properly there we go we can drag it in here and we're just gonna need the P rotation inputs and now we're gonna have since we're using this since this is our new output since this is our new value that we're using and it has to work everywhere we're gonna have to replace the previous values using the original controller alone with the main controller and the original controller so there we go now let's see if that works out like everyone should expect yes it does that's the main finger controller and the sub uh, or the all the fingers and then the main finger for this one finger and then your bend controller so there we have it undo that a few times <coughs> now all we really want to do is copy paste so to make sure no funny stuff happens with our fingers let's get if we moved if we moved this to in here or anywhere else it would change the value so if we did that notice how it changed oh that's not what we want so let's uh, undo that and this disable this while we're copying it we're gonna click control drag to copy and let's stick it in the index and let's center it up like we did initially when we first got our null object in the previous video and let's of course we need to name this index control c and let's move it out up here And double click on our espresso and we see that uh, these have changed but now we need to add, make sure it works with the proper bones the index bone so we just click on this and change the reference change the reference to the appropriate finger bone there we go now let's see if that works Oh, it doesn't work. That's because we disabled it here. So let's re-enable that on each finger. Now this finger is working. Let's try our main controller here for all the fingers, and they're working. All right. So you just do the same for the pinky here. Let's see if we can copy this without disabling the espresso. Nope. Notice how it changed. Let's disable that. Wait, I 
I stuck it in the wrong finger. Probably would have changed worse. <laughs> With a pinky finger. Let's enable that. Double click here. And these are right. Change. Oops. We want to put this up here. Otherwise, it'll try to change itself. Back here. Just what we did with the previous finger. Alright. And then rotate. Ooh, that's not what we want. We need to center that up. Now let's enable this. And rotate. Ooh, no, it rotated in a way we did not expect it to. That's because it's inside of here. Let's put that back. Hmm. And uh, I suppose that's how we have it. That's how we had it initially. That one finger, and then all the fingers. Yep, it works. And you do the thumb. More or less the same way as we did the first finger in the first video. And that's kind of more or less how I did my wings here. You see we just controlled the rotation of the P axis there. If we wanted to take this with the individual fingers, instead of just rotating that one bone at the front, we could, in fact, make it rotate all the succeeding bones by adding the... Uh, See here, the B value down the last two bones there. That's kind of what I did with the wings here. This here is the goal. Hit E, move that of the of your just a standard IK chain. I can actually move the wing there and R rotate it. And this controller, I can actually move the wing around. It pretty much works the same as the fingers except I don't need to control them all individually so they just have one main controller rather than uh, separate controllers for each one. So that's how that works out. So it all works pretty good. So I guess happy finger rigging. <laughs> it's not that difficult. You'll um you'll ha you'll run into a few problems. Just uh, just continue on. And just figure out what's going on wrong. Usually it's probably just something isn't quite connected right, or you're using the wrong value. I mean, you just gotta mess with it. You'll it'll work out. No problems. All right. Thank you very much.